Dr. Erica with Rosie Research. And Valentine's Day is coming up, so we are going to make a fun binary I love you heart chain. So what you'll need for this project are pipe cleaners, and you can use perler beads or pony beads, whatever works best for you. And then you'll need a printout of the binary alphabet, which you can find this online in our mini maker activities, and you can download it for free. And it gives you what the binary code looks like for all of the letters in the alphabet. And this is a fun way to start learning about binary code, what is binary, how do computers use binary, and how do computers store information. Because the hard drives in your computer are all little tiny magnets, and they only have two states. They could be spin up, or they could be spin down. And so we give that a one or a zero. And so here, the black and the white gives us a one or a zero. And when we string this on, we'll string on all the ones and zeros. So if you were to type an A in your computer and save it, it's going to look like a zero, one, zero, 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 one. So the first letter we have is an I. And I actually took my little tiny perler bead and I wrote the letter I on it. And that's so that when I put this all together, I'll know what order things go in. So if I look at my binary alphabet, I'll see that that's going to be a white one first. So I'll put a white little bead on. And I'm going to do pink. I'm substituting black for pink here. And then I'll be two whites. And another pink. And two more whites. And then I'll finish with a pink. Now, all of the letters in the alphabet have their own unique binary code. So the I is going to be different than the O or the L. So they're all going to be a little different, which is kind of fun. And then I'm going to string my I on the other side, like this. And I already made the love you part in binary code on this. So I'm going to just attach this guy by stringing it through. And we'll attach, we'll twist this on. And I'll bring my eye up a little. And then we're going to make this into a little heart just by shaping it with our fingers. And now I have a fun little chain that says, I love you in binary code. You could make this into a ridiculous necklace for mom or a bracelet. Or you could just hang it from your door or from your window. It's sort of a fun little decoration. Maybe you want to put it on the table at Valentine's Day dinner when you have your little cakes. And it's a great way to get acquainted with how computers store information in binary, as well as a fun art project that uses fine motor skills and sort of pattern recognition, because there's a pattern to how binary letters are done. So maybe you can look through it and see, can you spot the pattern of how it's working? Thanks for joining us as we did this fun little project. I hope that you subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out all the fun projects we have and head over to our Mini Makers page so you can download all the stuff you need for this activity as well as a ton of others. This is Dr. Erica signing off.